Welcome to the Nauticam NAC200 Underwater Housing Setup Tutorial for the Canon C200 Cinema Camera. Tim of RePhoto and Video will demonstrate just how simple and easy this setup process is. If you're using the included skid rails, you'll first want to start by attaching these to the housing. Thread the four M5 screws into place to secure the rails onto the housing. Next, you'll want to remove the back of the housing. Move both housing levers into the release position by depressing the red button and moving the levers outwards. Then pull off the back of the housing to remove it. To remove the camera tray, move the locking lever into the release position and pull the tray out. Attach the tray to the bottom of the C200 camera by threading the thumb screws from the tray into the bottom of the camera. If you're using an external monitor, you'll need to install the M16 SDI or HDMI bulkhead into one of the available M16 openings on the housing. Secure the bulkhead into place using a wrench, and plug in your internal SDI or HDMI cable to the bulkhead. Next, begin to place the assembled camera tray back into the housing. Be sure to plug in the remote cable for record triggering, and disengage the on and off switch. Lastly, secure the tray into place using the locking lever and re-engage the on-off switch. Next, you'll want to activate the moisture alarm and vacuum electronics along the back of the housing. And secure the back of the housing on by turning both locking levers inwards. Next, you'll want to install your lens and attach the port. Make sure both the zoom and focus styles are disengaged before you install the lens then move the port locking lever into the release position. Attach the lens, engage the zoom and focus dials, and perform a quick function test to ensure they're working properly. To attach the port, Line up the white dot on the port to the white dot on the housing and push the port into the housing. Then simply move the port lever back into the locked position. If you're using an external monitor, install a ball mount onto the housing and attach your monitor using a clamp. Then simply plug in the external cable to the HDMI or SDI bulkhead. Lastly, remove the vacuum cap and begin pulling the vacuum. You'll notice the light changing from flashing blue to flashing yellow, and then finally over to solid green. Once you have a green light, stop pumping and place the vacuum cap back on. Now you're ready to dive. For further information on this product, support, or questions, please contact our Reef Photo and Video staff. We're happy to help.